Hello, this is Michael from Tasty Placement, and today I'm going to do uh, a quick tutorial on something that took me a couple weeks to figure out, but I finally figured it out, and that's how to get the uh, first byte time up in webpagetest.org. Uh, we view this test as uh, authoritative. It's a great source for testing your website and discovering problems. I'm going to talk about three main ways to attack this problem. Uh, one is DNS, the DNS lookup for your website. Uh, two is uh, how you send users to your website, and that's a little trick uh, that some people overlook. Um, and the third is how to identify when it, when it truly is the uh, server you're on, you know, the hosting company. Um, let's start by looking at um, like a bad test here. And this illustrates um, a principle we sometimes see, and it's this slate gray color here. Uh, and this is the DNS lookup, and you can see it identified in the, um, the legend here. Um, the DNS lookup is um, when a browser, you know, tries to access your site, there's a, there's a lookup of the name server system which is going to identify the IP address. So it's, a, it's basically a hop that a, a user has to make before they get to your website. And if your DNS lookup is really quick, like it is here, it's a little sliver, a little tiny sliver, like a, in milliseconds, you know, uh, a tenth of a second is about right. Uh, and this is on a page where we used to have an F here. Back over to this, to, this is just a slow uh, name server lookup. And the test identifies that. If that happens, what you do is you go over to Leaf DNS, okay, which is just a DNS lookup tool. And there's, there's a ton of these out there. This is the one I use. Um, type your website name into here. And you can see uh, where your, um, what the DNS server is for your website. And in our case, it says there's three of them, NS1, 0, and 2 on DNS Made Easy. We're using a third party for that, but uh, there's plenty of uh, fast ones out there, okay? If the name server speed is slow and it's consistently slow because, uh, you know, it might just be a one-time occurrence that the DNS lookup is slow, you can always just uh, go back and test a couple times, but don't bug your hosting company for one slow test. Um, but if it's consistently slow, you need to either swap out your name servers. Um, and most shared hosting, you get that as a freebie, all right? You just get it with your hosting account, but uh, you can use a third party service if you want. But usually if it's a bad name server, usually the hosting is bad as well, okay? Let's move on from there to how you point users into your website. Now, I want to show you one of our early tests and this was a this is once we had solved all our problems on tastyplacement.com we had a's across the board but it was that darn first bite time and this is from back in 2012 early 2012 and one of the things going on here is that and the legend shows us this so we're testing tastyplacement.com however in our wordpress installation we would direct users from tastyplacement.com over to worldwideweb.tastyplacement.com. And you can see there's a DNS lookup, there's an initial connection, and there's a time to first byte. And this green is basically to get the server to respond. So what's physically happening here is the browser is doing a DNS lookup, it's found the IP address, it's made the initial connection, and it's made the request to the server, and that here the server takes uh, a little over a second to respond and that's uh, the third thing I'm going to talk about here but you can see what happens is the user the browser is immediately redirected for a second DNS lookup a second initial connection and a second time to first byte so this period here and we're getting up to three seconds here and the content is a sliver the contact content is just a few milliseconds um, this is basically doubling the time now what this leads you to is if you, you know, if you have links out in the world um, and paid ads out in the world and you're not directing those paid ads to the actual non-World Wide Web or World Wide Web version of your website, then you're going to get those slow load times for users out there. So just make sure your ads are pointed 
you know, to the right, uh, to the right canonicalization for your website, which is the, the World Wide Web in that case or without it, if you don't use it. And the same goes for HTTPS. Um, and if you're forcing users over to HTTPS, they're going to get there by going from going to tastyplacement.com, but the server is going to have to respond and say, oh, no, wait, you have to come back to this, and it, and it slows it down. So this was one of the, um, this is a way to speed it up without touching your server, right? Just make sure your links and the inbound paths people take to reach your website are the actual destination that the server is going to respond on, okay? Now, let me show you how we get to um, this is a recent test, and this is, uh, we manage some days an A, usually a B. This is about the best we can do on our machine. I don't know why this is NA. I haven't figured that out, but everything is A across the board. And we've elected not to use a CDN because we're getting such fast speeds in general on this server. We load a lot of heavy-duty graphics, so it is going to take a few seconds to load our site, even with it as optimized as it can be. So, Going back to these two tests, this is the prior test and this is the current much faster. And this is, you know, we're loading content in under a second on this page, okay? Now, notice there's a purple bar on our, our fast test and it's pretty big. And what it is, is SSL negotiation. And that's because we're running our website on a secure server now, whereas before we were not. And that's gonna add a sliver of time to it. Still pretty quick though. The DNS lookup is still pretty fast about two tenths of a second but notice how much quicker the time to first byte is very fast and the big difference here this is a key point this was shared hosting on hostgator this is a dedicated machine on hostgator it's a it's a dedicated box it's not even a virtual private server it's a dedicated box that we run at about three or four percent capacity so it's always loading very very quickly if you see these big fat green bars here, that's your server taking time simply to respond. Now there's also an effect uh, at play there. On a shared server, you know, it's managing its resources. And if it's hosting 70 or 80 sites on there and no one's hit your site in the last 10 minutes or so, there's caching that takes place on that server. So if the server's hot and your websites are loading a lot, you'll probably load a lot faster for subsequent visits. That's one reason you might see a lot of inconsistency on shared hosting because uh, there's different websites rotating to the front of the cache on that server and you may just not be in the cache. But this right here is our dedicated machine. It stays pretty hot and it's it's not taxed at all. There's not a lot of other people you know, running other processes on that same server. Anyway, those three tips will get you very, very far along on here. I'd say if you took the sort of populaces in, in, in the aggregate, generally the slowness is going to be, you know, other hosting companies. If you're seeing like really ghastly load times, you know, here's just a sample for a local company I ran. And, um, this, a lot of these sort of longer items might be like large files, but this is just a little JavaScript file. You know, it's, it's almost five seconds of load time. That's how you diagnose when it's your hosting company. Anyway, I hope that's helpful and um, stick around, you know, comments, uh, subscribe if you like. We're going to be posting a lot of videos on um, web page performance. We'll be running through each one of the different uh, sequences here in webpagetest.org to show you how to get to the uh, get to the A's or B's on all of them. All right. Thanks for watching.